Okay, long play game. Well, it's still rapid. 15 minute, 10 second game. Let's develop the knight. Keep everything as simple, straightforward as normal, as we like we do. Let's see if we can disturb the center. Make some space for pieces so we can see the board. Going to capture because we want to see the board. I don't see any danger to that. Going to capture the knight. Less pieces on the board. I'm actually going to attack the queen and see if we can get the big gun off the board. They might not, they might go here. Hopefully they'll go here. Take. We can hope. I'm going to do a big thing, maybe they're going back. Across here. Oh, they have moved as well. They do not want to exchange. Bishop could attack. I just don't want to get it all jammed in though and then we're losing tempo because the queen gets chased away. Because you can fall for that quite easily. It looks good, but... Then when the queen gets attacked, I suppose we can go and attack the queen again. So that might be a blessing. So I think I'm going to attack with the lesser piece. If they're not wanting to exchange, they're yeah, going here. Mm -hmm. Could go for the sort of x-ray through to the queen, kind of harassing the queen. But again, falls into that realm of them attacking our queen here. And then we won't have any support but we can still go and attack the queen. But because they're not wanting to give the queen up, I think if we go here now, they're just going to hide here, aren't they? It does give us space to actually attack with the bishop here. So I'm going to try and keep it simple. It's probably going to go to the other side of the ball before we move. It's probably going to go flying all the way over there, but the bishop can take, so probably here attacking the b palm always for the b pawn, so the queen can come back again and i suppose it can go backwards and forwards with the queen it's a little bit of a flicker his um signal keeps flicking on and off so we'll attack the queen we can expect uh, the attack to come across here because it looks like they're a runner bit of a dancer and as we've mentioned before if they dance they kind of dance themselves into a little bit of a hole fingers crossed they do that in this game Because at the minute they've not developed any other pieces. We've developed at least the knight and the bishop. Also with the queen. I don't think they'll be a fan of this. Oh, they're developing the knight. We are simply going to take the queen off the board. And then we're going to take the knight off the board as well. And we could go and castle, but is there anything else that we could do to give them something to think about? If we brought the knight up here, the pawn is going to drop. Is there any benefits anywhere else? No, because the bishop can simply take. So maybe we hang fire on that. Goes there. Oh, then we'd get the rook, wouldn't we, if it did drop. So we'll bring the knight here, giving them something to think about. Obviously, the bishop's going to come out, developing itself. Maybe we can then just attack the bishop and develop that way. It's 
It's really nice to take time in the games. And we've not played a long play game for ages, it feels like. Yeah, so the bishop comes there. We did say I was just going to bring the bishop here to attack the bishop. They don't have to capture. They could mo mobilize, but we'll take with the knight. So it's still even Stevens. There's no... It's going to be attacking here. So should we castle on the queen side? There's no advantages at the moment. The bishops jump in, in straight. So let's attack. See if he wants to exchange the bishop off or not. Or do they just push the pawn down? So this is one of those ones where if we jump here, we don't really have a safe place to come back on because the rook can put a check. I uh, see this many times in many games that I watch myself. Um, we can get giddy with the knight thinking, oh, I've got the rook here, yeah, but then we don't have an out. You know, we, ha we haven't got a safe place to come back to. So it's something to think about. Yes, I've got to check on the king, but the king moves. So that gives me a bit of tempo, but where can I safely come out? I can't come here. I can't go there. I can't come back here. And I can't go there. So there's no point in jumping up there. That's basically what I'm saying. So we have a come here or we come here with the knights. Give the king some company. Rook's going to be attacking the pawn. So let's bring this knight back. Let's see if we can double up simple rooks onto this half open file. Okay, so they're defending. Let's continue with the doubling. Obviously, this bishop's chomping at a bit with this diagonal, but we'll push the pawn if we get the time. Yep, yeah, so they're straight in. Let's continue and then do this because this rook is going to be coming to support the attack. And then there's going to be mass attacks off all this sort of stuff. But the rook's going to have to come and defend the pawn. Lots of things going on, potentially. It's gonna defended the pawn. Mm -hmm. Bring the knight up again, but where really is it going? It was there, so we can go here to go here to attack the bishop. And go there to attack the pawn but it's all going to get defended so we'll go with that anyway it gives us something to do rook is going to come and attack the pawn so we'll have to bring the pawn here it's not doing that so we're going to attack with a check on the king attacking the bishop see if we can get stuff off and the king does more protecting the pawn let's take the bishop and if he does take he loses a rook Okay. So that felt pretty smooth. Long play game, long play thinking. Like I said, no, I don't think I played a long play game for ages looking at the videos we've been making. Long play is where chess is at. Um, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If you're wanting to improve your game and you really want to enjoy chess, um, for entertainment value, for people making money, for people in, um, selling their businesses and try, trying to get people in to buy their products, their courses, etc., seminars, all that sort of stuff. It's all good for chess. Um, I like the promotion of chess and all that type of stuff. But don't get fooled into thinking that these quick, fast games are what chess is about. Real chess is long play thinking, being able to take your time, really strategize, plan, think out your moves um quick and dirty tactics bullets blitz even the lower end of the rapids and that's not what chess is so don't be fooled into any of that let's concentrate because it looks like the play is still playing on 
Let's take. Looks like the signal's going this time. They're still flicking. Let's get the king up. Seeing as the, the opponent is still playing, they're looking to try and trap themselves in somehow in the king. Just take. Yeah, he's got plenty of space to move with the king, so fairly happy with that. And they resigned. Lovely game.